That's the skyline. Whoa, beautiful. Hello, ma'am. Are you okay? You need something? If you need something, don't let me know. I'm not a fucking air hostess, alright? Making your final approach. Lots of cloud, no visibility. No fucking visibility. Hello and what's up everybody, how's it going? Once again, this is a dead wolf and today for you guys I'll be flying this massive aircraft, the Airbus A350, it is of Delta Airlines and we are at the New York airport of the KGFK and we'll be flying to Toronto and the IQ code is uh, Charlie Yankee and Zulu. So without wasting any time, we'll be turning on this aircraft. Uh, this is going to be a complete flight. So it is going to be from startup to ILS landing. So let's start on the batteries. Uh, once again, guys, I'm using the NVIDIA Shadow Play. So the cursor might disappear. It's a bug which they haven't fixed it yet. So yep. Now turn on the master switch on and start the APU. Uh, in the Boeing 737, the APU. So, uh, we can see the APU by the knob turning to our 8.2 or something so here we are gonna see available sign as soon as the APU starts so till that time let's go here and go to the ground service doors and hatches we'll choose the lower config and close the two left and four right and open the four left so that's gonna end up oh wait forgot some things we need the ground equipments stairs shocks damn. passengers fuel trucks luggage loader um, the plane is at gate and let's get the electric power connect the high pressure unit all right here we can push back so this is gonna end up here looking like this we have the fuel trucks, uh, the luggage loading and stuff, we have got the stairs. Uh, I'm not sure how to make these jetways work. I think I need a plug-in. Uh, I'll check on it. So most of the guys uh, don't use the checklist. So this flight I'm going to be using the checklist. So the APU is available. So we'll turn on the APU blade, APU generator and choose the bus type. So we have got this display on. It was off before, so let's see what we do have the power. Electrical power up, uh, batteries are on, alright, electrical power up confirmed. Ecam mode to auto, so what it means is uh, these are the buttons for the Ecam, and what you see here is the Ecam. So when, uh, when none of the button is ticked like this, so it's already on auto mode, so yeah, that's good. NSS data to avionics. Damn. So go to the overhead panel and this is the NSS, turn all this on, alright, cooling and cabin fans, here they are, and it's on, alright, checklist confirmed, APU start, okay, it's on, this is the RMP, RMP means your, these frequencies and stuff, RMP 1 and 2, so they are on, confirmed. They have this thing, I don't know how to turn it off. Frequencies uh, tuned. Give your new standby off. Com 1 select. Does anyone know how to turn this off? Sound and volume. So here is your sound. And 
volume so you can damp you can uh, raise the volume and uh, this is a problem here uh, it's a glitch in the a350 it doesn't uh, uh, click it so it doesn't confirm it even if you turn it on so next page is a squawk page so here's a squawk button turn it on and click this button slave to master so it's on and the squawk is selected confirm you have to enter the squawk whatever the ADC gives you but you're not doing that so it is like off test PB so what you have to do is go here and press this uh, test button so that's gonna end up like this so giving the beeping sound and all master cursor is uh, blinking here is whatever the things it gives master only light flash repetitive chime sounds and all so that's confirmed and here again this is a glitch in this only three buttons it doesn't confirm results are confirmed next we know we have done it but yeah it shows like that overhead panel uh capture the pulse on so it is here it's on turn on the queue supply uh get this uh, irs to aligning and turn all of these things on get to turn the passenger data off later on so already these all things are checked so let's go to the lights uh we need the now lights on uh, wait now lights yes now it's remaining light as required so we don't need any of the lights we need the seat bells and not smoking light emergency lights are on uh, this goes to audible all right x split selector auto so this is the x split turn this to auto we go to normal airflow and this is the temperature that you have to select okay e cabinet to dc page so here is a button electric dc and you can see all these uh, things over here uh, what are the batteries uh, the power they are consuming and all below 60 ampere so yep it's 5 ampere 5 ampere all right lights off all right so turn on the generators uh, here they are getting the fault line we go the fault uh, light will go as soon as we start the plane get the main fuel pumps on uh, these are the main fuel pumps all right let's turn on the fuel pumps that's what they need get this to auto work maintenance panel all white lights are off cargo air sector is fire so turn all of these things on and uh, that's the temperature go a little bit this much hydraulic electric pump so here it is ground hydraulics the green and yellow they are on now air data selectors check anti skid on guys let me know in the comments what this uh, plus thing is uh, which get this square box I don't know what it is it's so annoying this is the server SOS one PP so you can turn it on by two ways uh, it's here you can turn it on by here or you can go to this panel FMS survey and status switches you can turn it on from here so that's how we do it control page select uh, what you have to do is turn all these things to auto and all and to avoid it you can always press the default setting so that's basically gonna do the stuff for you go to initiate page uh, flight plan initiate flight number delta airlines uh, what was it for the delta airlines maybe dl i don't know i might be wrong but i'm just assuming 526 okay just a random number uh, kilo Juliet Foxtrot Kilo that's your starting point departure airport I mean and Charlie Yankee Yankee Zulu 
route selector uh, this is uh, there's a lot of problem with these things cause only with the FMS because you cannot uh, select your seeds and stars so that's a major drawback even the XFMC support is gone uh, you can see from right here if you go to the options XFMC support if I even if I click it it doesn't so neither the XFMC is working nor the default FMS is providing us the features for the seeds and stars so the IRS is available in three minutes also all right performance will be flying by flaps one or we rotate it should be about 147 let's calculate if we can uh, go to here and airplane we can load the passengers uh, let's take a middle implement fuel we need about uh, 28 uh, 20,000 kg so light middle okay. what is it we need 20,000 here implement performance I don't know why we can uh, check it here we'll, we'll get back to it later on maybe we just need the IRS to align could be so alright let's uh, battle reference board set okay let me check uh, whether okay so the altimeter is standard so we don't need to do anything just click here goes to standard click there goes to standard and it's check any more range as required so this is the mode range that you select uh, you can see on this page so it is as required all right pft is on it's on this dash thing and all uh, that's what they're asking so everything is default on so don't need to check that all right the cockpit preparation is done before push back and clearance all right the fuel quantity is checked final lotion all right cdp cps panels exit power off next parking brake off and push back so before that we just need to do a few things so our initial climb will be um, 80,000 feet cause the transition altitude is 80,000 you're gonna do there add that thing over here 80,000 okay IRS aligning IRS all right how long is gonna take we can force align IRS from here so yep that's it all right maybe now we can calculate that uh, performance and play performance calculator no so let it be Um, got to do a few things over here. Uh, turn all the hydraulic pumps on. Uh, all right, so I believe that should be it. This is on. So well, uh, okay. Before push back, uh, parking brake uh, goes off. All right, and call the push back truck okay go to your ground service push back and push and the truck is coming oh we got to do a few things parking brake on ground equipment let all of them go close all so every doors are closing right now The pushback feature in this 1850 is the best because uh, we can push back with our throttle and the rudders. So that's the best thing. Why are these trucks not clear? Luggage loaders, go away. Alright, we are clear to go. So 
Okay, I'll send a push card. Damn, who asked for it? Breaks off. Yeah, let's start to look. Why is a push card coming? Maybe I press button on my joystick. Control with your thought on it rather, so that's the best thing. Let's um, halt. Breaks all, and we'll tell the push card to go away. We don't need you now. Go away, man. Retracting. All right, boy. So, uh, what we need to do next is the engine startup. So the beacon lights go on. lights if you play is on so that's checked if you play is on we'll go to, uh, we, just, we, are, we just have to unselect this um, electric DC so that's goes to auto mode engine start selector to ignition start on the engine one um, this is a um, little bit fishy because we have to start engine second first so the engine, engine one is starting There it goes. Oh yeah. And it's on. Alright boys. Uh, it is stable now. Almost. Alright. Available engine to start. We just have to wait for it now. Flight plan. From KJFK we have to depart from runway 4. For right or left it was okay it was for left and this was a problem I was talking about you cannot load the seeds so that's a problem you cannot select anything for left and we'll be landing at 3 3 right one way 3 3 right 1 10 30 Remember that. Post 327. You cannot select your approach and all, so that's a bad thing. Engine 2 is available. After start, engine selectors to normal. Check. Lead one, lead two, on. Lead one, lead two is on. Select the pack one, pack two. Order one, hot air two, engine flow to normal. Oh, sorry, air flow to normal. So APU bleed off, and APU itself goes off. So any APU generator also. So yep. Anti ice as required. So you can turn on the auto mode. So that's going to do the stuff for you. Ground spoilers. Um, just press press three for once. Rudder trim zero. Let's check on it. Rudder 3 is 0. Check. 
damn thing. Well, I might can get this thing to work, so forget about it. Pitch stream is checked. Uh, thirty-two point three. That's our takeoff stream. Ecamm status is checked. All right. Next. Passenger data off. So go to the overhead panel. Sorry. Turn off the passenger data. The rest of things are checked. All right. So it's done and taxi for taxi turn on the nose lights nose light to taxi sorry yep it's done turn off lights goes on stroke to order all right party break off thrust levers as required and auto brakes to RT Oh, check. So let's taxi to runway four left. Uh, I have set my graphic settings to high, so that is making quite laggy just in New York that's problem is gonna be just in New York as soon as we leave New York uh, the frame rates are gonna be okay Approaching zero four left. On runway zero four left. Parking brakes on. Let's turn on the landing lights, ring lights to on. Turn on the strobe lights. All right. All these things are on. So here we are going to take off. Turn, turn the turn on. All right. So the rest all is going to get done by on its own. Right, let's go. Brake lights off. Take off thrust. are not working so that's how we have to do it we'll turn on the autopilot in about a few
guys. Flats up. Let's uh, turn on the autopilot. Two thousand speed is going to be two fifty. Clouds and clouds and clouds. You can't see down. I need to see the New York skyline. Please, clouds, go away, please. Clouds on both sides. You can't see. New York skyline. I can't see you. All right. So we are following the bed. Uh, one more thing that I gotta tell you guys is don't mess up with this autopilot panel before takeoff because if you select heading and something you cannot uh, come back from that you cannot uh, select the localizer or the navigation mode after you select the heading so that's a little glitch so yeah just take care about that alright Ground spoilers off. Oh, forgot a few things. Damn, again, I have to turn off the runway turn off lights. There you go, boy. After takeoff, in case it's required, it's on auto, so yep. Alright, so cruise, we are not on cruise. Oh, there it is, the New York skyline, we can see a little bit. Not much, but yes, something is better than nothing. So god freaking beautiful. Ten thousand feet. Landing lights and taxi lights goes off. All right. It was on. So. That's the skyline. Whoa! Beautiful. I think I should do a VFR flight or New York. Just waiting for getting a new PC. I do have a GTX 1080, but I gotta buy a new PC, make one. So suggest me what to do. I'm returning to Toronto in about 12 days, so I'm gonna be making a PC after reaching over there. So there's nothing much to do after cruising, so. That kind of makes your video long and stuff so I'm gonna be skipping a lot of part where we are just cruising so all right guys see you at the cruising altitude Let's take a view inside the this A350. What does it give? So this Delta Airlines livery, uh, it is in, it's in so detail. It's uh, the logos are inside the plane also. I love that thing. Wow. Actually, I'm seeing this for the very first time with you guys. So this is also new for me. It's great. Can we see? Uh, can I see a movie? 
It's a short flight, so I just need a short movie to see. A video, perhaps. Wow, it's so great, so beautiful. Flight vector arrow. Uh, there's a few things that sometimes we cannot move. Bottle of wines in alcohol. This is a business class. Hello ma'am, are you okay? You need something? If you need something, don't let me know. I'm not a fucking air hostess, alright? Alright, so we are at the transition altitude. Let's uh, climb to flight level 200. Increasing the speed to Mark 18. We are at Mark 610. We are leveling off. All right, so we might have to descend from uh, this flight plan is so wrong. We'll descend from this waypoint before killing. All right, so we are at view and we are appro we'll be approaching the second waypoint of in 24 nautical miles. So we'll just start our descent to 10,000 feet. At a speed of 1500 feet per minute. And we will reduce our speed to 290. Let's make it to 280. So, what's the weather? We'll check our weather. is okay all right approach data so that is going to be uh, go to nav go to ls 1030 and the course is 327 I believe arrival 327 327 okay Auto brakes as required. So, so, uh, freaking, what do we call it? Weird. That this is the auto brakes. Uh, you can see uh, auto brakes low. This is to two, so that's okay. And the upper knob is for braking action. So, I'll make it to medium. All right cockpit door is unlocked so we can always close it uh, lock the door all right this chrono helps us track the minute so this is about 21 minutes of flight by now the plane almost takes 1 kg of fuel every 3 seconds I believe see that at the end of the flight we have got to manipulate our course because 
don't have the seeds for uh, for this after this link we have the link file through which we have to go but we don't have it on our flight plan so we might have to adjust our flight manually we can still align with our ILS but we have to do it manually that's the problem almost um, reaching the Canadian border so this part is the Canadian border it has the Niagara and stuff over here reaching 10,000 feet so turn on the landing lights and the nose lights on seat belt signs go on alright we will turn on the little bit turn off when we land after we land let's go down a bit to flight level 8,000 So all of us know what we have to do during the descent and during my landing I cannot go through the checklist so I won't be doing that because we are not two pilots and the only one so I cannot manage all of these things at once. As they say, anyone can take off the plane but only a pilot can land the plane. Hell yes, that's right. Alright, we are busy and the, the next uh, the next destination is the airport runway 33 right so let's start our descent already it is our speed to 220 bring on our speed brakes Next one. Going to the clouds. God damn it. Right. It gives you this sense of speed and all. Wow. Two thousand five hundred. Here we are arriving in Toronto. This is not Toronto yet. Not yet. I live in Toronto, so I know this stuff. Uh, we'll be crossing the Ontario Lake and then we'll be arriving at uh, runway 33 right on the right side of which is. Flaps too. Speed breaks off, and they are off. Let's turn on this terrain. The default ATC is broken. God damn it! <laughs> See that bridge? <laughs> Making your final approach. See these clouds. <laughs> Great effect. It's like we are going through a storm or something. Let's uh, go down a bit. Reducing the speed to 180 knots. And we are at 2500, so I'm gonna just take over the plane manually. Go to be tried for the ILS to get aligned. Select the LS so you can see these things. Need to get a closer view. I believe we can turn left now. Heading to about 3 to 7, about 3 30. Oh, we can. 
can also select we can now select the approach mode autopilot goes on reducing to speed to 160 2000 flaps full Dang, can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know what is going to happen. But uh, I believe it's going to be good. My test flight was a crash here. I think we are almost aligned. Lots of cloud, no visibility. No fucking visibility. Alright, almost hitting the glide slope. Here is a pink light coming down, so as soon as it reaches here. Terrain. Alright, boy, I know. Whoa, we are lined up! Hell yes! Hell yes! Gears down. That's the downtown over there and also one airport over here it is uh, yeah here is a training training airport for the new pilots all right so we'll take the controls in our hands at 1000 feet 1000 all right boys controls into my hands approaching three three right The 850 is, I feel hard to land because I don't know, yeah, there's a, a little delay after, after using my joystick. 400. 100 above. 300. Terrain. Minimum. 200. It's going to be long landing, I think. Think rate. Think rate. Think rate. 70, Think right. 60, 50, 50, 40, 40, 30, 30, 30, 20, 10. Long landing, long Whoa. landing, 9,000 feet. Damn, how was it a bump? God damn, a bad landing, I must say. Or it might be because I have selected the head shake to extreme. Releasing the speed uh, reverse brakes. Uh, speed brakes down, flaps up. We can turn down on the taxiway here. Damn, that was hard, I believe. Alright, no slides to taxi, landing lights off, strobe lights to auto, sorry, they went off, damn, but first wait, strobe lights to auto, T 
turn off lights on and APU goes on. I gotta work on my A350. This was just my fourth flight, and in the first two flights, I haven't landed an A350. It was just a test flight for starting up the engines and all. I haven't landed because I am so goddamn confident on my flying skills. I didn't even bother to test. So once again guys thanks for watching I know this was um, the landing was a bit bumpy and I also mentioned a few of the bugs in the A250 so that was it for the A250 flight I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it uh, the A350 is a bit hard to fly uh, I know so I hope you learned from it and once again guys thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure to smack that like button and do subscribe uh, leave me some comments in the comment section below and I'll get back to you within a few minutes as I always do thanks to me and so once again guys thanks for watching